Next, next speaker is Dr. Benjamin Brown. He is in the Department of Neurosurgery at Mayo Clinic in Florida, and he is going to speak to us on DAWN and using advanced imaging for wake-up stroke up to 24 hours. So please welcome Dr. Brown. Thanks, Kevin. Um, now that we've all grown a gyrus, I'm going to try to help you guys hold on to one. I hope you don't lose one during my talk. But uh, So I'm going to speak about the DAWN trials, a good uh, intro um, into this uh, by Dr. Freeman. Let's see if I can get this. So I'm going to talk about um, just stroke intervention basics. I'm going to review the DAWN trial, and then I'm going to talk about some results and guideline changes as a result of DAWN. So I don't need to convince this audience that ischemic stroke is an important issue. About 800,000 people affected yearly. 87% of those are ischemic. Stroke costs the U.S. $34 billion each year, estimated, and leading cause of disability in the United States. So what do we have available uh, at our disposal for acute intervention in stroke? Obviously, IVTPA approved in 1996. It's got the advantage of being rapidly available. You can give it potentially in the field if you can get imaging there. Uh, but it has disadvantages in that it's a limited time window. And then the, the most important for this talk is a lower efficacy in a large vessel occlusion like the ICA terminus or the M1 segment, vertebral artery, basilar artery. You can see ICA terminus rates of recanalization maybe around 6% or so with IVTPA alone. So the other side of things is going into the artery itself and trying to mechanically or chemically open up that artery. And so after TPA was approved by the FDA, we, people started going with catheters and injecting that TPA right at the clot to see if they could get it to dissolve with limited success and the 50% ch chance of getting that vessel open. And then uh, progressing on up the line, poking it with a wire, using a corkscrew device, the Mercy, to try to pull it out using aspiration catheters, getting a little bit better, along with agitation, perhaps. And then the current generation of device, stent retriever, uh, being considered the gold standard. Although um, many people do often use penumbra or other aspiration catheters as well, which can be effective. So continued, continued evolution in, in that regard are just subtle design changes in stent retrievers. These are some of the current generations. Um, things like adding radio opaque markers um, to the device so that 